Hi guys and girls and welcome back to the episode 7 of Make a Game for Free. In this episode we're gonna be adding some player HUD. We're gonna display the player health. If you wanna check out the rest of the series there will be a link down in the description. This is really simple so let's get into it. So first thing I did is I added a canvas to my scene and add the image and called it background. I set its color to white but you can also change that, that doesn't really matter and play with the width and height. My width is 280 and height 50. I positioned it into the left corner of the screen. After that I added another image, parented it to the background and called it HP fill value. So this is the image that is going to change depending on the value of the health. I set its color to be green but you can change this to any color you want and you want to anchor it to the middle left of the background. You can do that by holding shift and pressing here. I set its width and height to be t for 10 lower than the background's width and height so I get this kind of outline. You don't have to do this but I think this just looks better than if it was uh, completely filling out the background. And the last thing I did here is I added text and called it HP value text. So this is going to display the amount of health that we have. This is optional but I like to do this because it kind of adds the feeling. I set its color to be kind of dark green so I can see it at uh, all times. I set the width to 80 and height to 42 and I anchored it to the middle right of the background. I set the font size to be 34 and the font I use is called Rific Bold. I'm gonna leave the link to that in the description. Now the only thing left is to make a script that is gonna control this. So I created a player health bar script and attached it to the player. In here I created three variables. Public text, HP value text, public image, HP fill value and the character stats, player stats. So this is pretty simple. The text and the image file are pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Those are the ones in the scene and player stats are the character stats attached to the player. And then in void update, I set the HP value text dot text. So that is the text on the text. This doesn't make sense when I say it, but when, when I show it to you like this, it makes sense. And I set that to be equal to player stats dot health to string. Now let me explain this. So player stats, those are the character stats on the player. Since that is where uh, we have our health stored, we have to contact that script and take health from it. And then since that, since health is a integer, we have to make it a string because string is a type of variable stored in uh, text. I mean it's variable that stores text. And then I create a new variable called float fill value. The next problem I had is if you look at HP fill value, what we want to do when our health gets lowered, we want to adjust the scale so it will look like it's decreasing. As you can see the scale can go from 0 to 1 and it's a float so it could go like 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and so on. So the way I did that is I created a new variable called fill value and it's a float. So this is the value that we're going to use to set the scale of the image. And how we're going to do this is we're going to take the health and divide it by our max health. So let's say our health is uh, 50 and we divide it by max health which is 100 in this case. 50 divided by 100 is 0 0.5. So it's going to set the scale to 0 0.5 and that is exactly the half, the half of the scale. So if it's 40, 40 divided by 100, it is 0 0.4. This is some pretty simple math, like you learned this in first grade. Then what we do, we call the HP fill value, which is the fill image in the scene and we get the rect transform. If you look at the object in the scene, you can see that its scale is stored in a part called rect transform. So that is what we want to contact. And then we say local scale, so that is the scale of the of the rectangle. 
and we set it to be equal to a new vector 3 which is going to be fill value so that is the number that we got by dividing health and max health up here and the rest we're going to set to 1 and 1. Now the only thing I don't know how to explain here is variable fill value and the thing is I really don't understand how does this float in front of max health works. If you divide integer and an integer you will always get a zero and the thing is I don't understand how this fixes it but it does so I just add this float in here and it fixed it. As you can see we have a pretty cool player health bar and it looks pretty awesome. And if you enjoyed, if this helped you, be sure to leave a like, comment down below if you want to see anything specific and subscribe because it really does help me out. Go follow me on Twitter, there will be a link in the description and hopefully I will see you next time. So bye bye.